So in today's video, I'm basically going to be going over the competitive update that came to Fortnite recently. If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to drop it a like and also consider using code Sonata at YT in the Fortnite item shop, but let's hop into this video. Alright, so as you guys can see here now, we are in the article of the Fortnite competitive release and it obviously says by the Fortnite team, Hey competitors, we're only a couple weeks away from the return of FNCS and while most of the season will feel familiar, we've got some updates we want to share with all of you. Let's jump right into all the details. So basically, they're going to be highlighting the Season 6 Trio FNCS that's going to be starting on April 22nd. This is going to be a big tournament, and this is going to be the main season tournament, as you guys know FNCS obvi obviously is. Um, and as you guys can see right here, it basically just goes over the FNCS schedule, and I'm going to be going through this all right now. So right here, it says, here's our plan schedule for FNCS from the first qualifier all the way through the, to the finals. Um, and it starts off with qualifier one, Middle East is April 22nd to through the 24th, and then all other regions are is April 23rd through the 25th. And then for qualifier two, Middle East starts on April 29th to, through May 1st, all other regions is April 30th through May 2nd, Middle East once again, May 6th through 8th, all other regions are is uh, May 7th through 9th. And then it says there's a bye week, so there's going to be a small break in between the three qualifiers and the heats. And then, there's, then it says semifinals, which is also known as the heats, says Middle East, May 21st, all other regions, May 22nd. Obviously, there's going to be three heats, not four heats this FNCS. We'll get into that a little bit later. And it also states that there's going to be a reboot round, which says Middle East, May 22nd, all other regions, May 23rd. And then obviously, the finals of FNCS is going to be Middle East, May 28th through 29th, and then all other regions May 29th through 30th. So if you guys are from the Middle East, I'm not exactly sure why everything's one day earlier for you. Maybe it's for the time zone difference. However, I'm not 100% sure there may be some other reason. But anyway, let's get into this prize pool now. As you guys can see, it says $3 million are once again up for grabs in this season's prize pool with one cross-platform player pool per region. Here's a full breakdown. So obviously this is a little bit different than last season's FNCS. As you guys can see, there's the same NA East and EU prize pool. However, for NA West and for Brazil, there is now the equal prize pool, while for Asia and Middle East and OCE, the prize pool is going to be a little bit less. However, I do like this prize pool a little bit more. It's favoring most viewed regions over each other, which I feel is very interesting. Moving into the format, it says we've made slight adjustments to this season's qualification format. As a reminder, teams that place first, second, or third in last season's Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS for their respective regions already qualify into the grand finals for this season and cannot participate in qualifiers or semis. So this basically means teams like Acorn, Jack and Slacks, and Hen Chapix and Janice, if they do stick together, that means that they're going to automatically qualify into this season's Grand Finals. And then it obviously gives a note about if those teams uh, decide to disband, like if they decide to split up before FNCS, all three members of the trio must fill out the official disband form by April 19th. After that, it also states that there's going to be a quick highlight, a full breakdown of each can be found below. It's going to be saying that top three teams from each qualifier week finals will skip to the heats and directly advance to the finals of all of FNCS. All other teams will earn series points for the opportunity to compete in heats. And then it says all three regions will have heats instead of four. In semifinals, the heats will be played on the same day. And obviously then it states that there's going to be a reboot round and it's going to be expanded and we'll have at a minimum three matches and up to six matches total to see who's who's going to be that one team that qualifies out into the finals. And then it says for each qualifier, teams that place top three in the qualifier will now skip the semifinals and advance to the straight to the finals. And then it also says that teams that do not place in the top three of a qualifier will be awarded series points based off of their final placement in that qualifier. At the conclusion of the final qualifier, all series points will be added together and the top 99 trios on, on the series point leaderboard will advance to the semifinals in each region. And this is basically the whole story of the qualifiers. Basically, now the way it's going to work is it's going to be the same effect as last season's grand finals, where the top three teams can uh, of each qualifier final week will be able to very easily skip to the entire grand finals without even participating in the heats, which I think is okay. However, this might change might change around the teams a little bit, and it might be a little bit confusing once we eventually get into FNCS. Continuing on, it says that semifinals will consist of three heats in each region, with teams seeded based on the amount of total series points that they earned across, across all, the, all three qualifiers. For each heat, teams will have six matches to earn as many points as they can, and the top six trios from each heat will advance to finals, and the teams placing in 7th and through 17th in each heat will advance to the reboot round. And then says that the reboot round will now consist of three matches, basically just reciting what it said above. And it also says that finals will remain unchanged and the teams will have 12 total matches across two days to earn points before we crown the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 6 winners. 
And then it basically just says there's going to be format changes, and it says why they've made those format changes. It says, looking back to the last FNCS, of the 70 teams that directly qualified into semifinals from the first qualifier in Season 5, 52 made it through to the finals. Those 52 teams averaged 11th place across all regions, and 28 of those 52 teams placed in the top 10 in their respective region, including three FNCS championship trios. In, in short, the teams... Oh, wait, including three FNCS uh, championship trios. My bad. In short... The teams that qualified from the first qualifier last season not only made it to finals, but were more dominant than other teams. And then it also says that like last season, prizes will be allocated for every team that makes it to the finals to ensure that standout performances from the qualifiers or the previous season are rewarded. We've also adjusted series points reward values at the end of each qualifier, which we hope will facilitate a more competitive experience in the qualifiers. It then basically just goes over what exactly the scoring format's going to be. It says that there's a victory royale is going to be 30 points. And then it's basically just going to show you guys exactly what the exact format is. And this is in for all of placement. So all of placement is going to equal 30 points and each kill equals 2 points. This is roughly the same format as last season. There's a bit of adjustments. Now it's going to be a little bit more uh, different in terms of placement for each trio. However, continuing on, it says that, that the scoring format for earlier rounds that do not use a single lobby system, round 1, 2, and 3, will remain unchanged from last season. And then it obviously says that the official rules are going to be coming soon and can be found in this rules library right here. Moving on to the last section of this article, as you guys can see, it says the FNCS All-Star Showdown, which is the event that I talked about in a previous video. It says the competition continues after Chapter 2 Season 6 FNCS with the FNCS All-Star Showdown on June 23rd through the 26th. The main event will be a solo tournament featuring, featuring the top players in each region from the past two FNCS tournaments, the top 15 teams from Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS, and the top 15 teams from the Chapter 2 Season 6 FNCS will receive invitations to the FNCS all-Star Showdown for a total of 90 players competing to determine who is the best player in their region. This means that half of the field is already set, so there's even more on the line for the Chapter 2 Season, season 6 FNCS. If some teams or players placed in the top 15 in both seasons will invite additional teams to fill in to, to fill the open spots based on consistency, teams with the highest average performance between Season 5 and Season 6 will, rele will receive an invitation to fill those potential extra slots. It then basically says that a handful of invited players will also have the opportunity to compete as individuals in the creative mode skills challenges during the days leading up to the solo championship. The FNCS All-Star Showdown will have a total combined prize pool of $3 million across events with more details to come later this season. Stay tuned, and we cannot wait to see you guys compete in this season's FNCS. Remember to follow FN Competitive Twitter for all competitive updates. So basically, this FNCS All-Star Showdown is going to be a lot like the Invitational that happened last year around the same time as now. It's basically going to be a large solo tournament. However, what's going to be very different is there's probably going to be some variety of creative mode skills, such as box fights, realistics, or zone wars. And I would love to see a bunch of good zone wars players, such as Day and maybe even Keeney or whoever, fight against each other. However, this pretty much makes up the entire article of FN Competitive, and yeah, let's move on to the next section of the video. Anyways guys, that is a video on exactly what the competitive update is going to be looking like. There's going to be a bunch of changes to FNCS and the FNCS All-Star Showdown. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.